Before installing anything, you want to make sure that you don't already have HomeLink on your Tesla. So go ahead and select software and then select uh, additional vehicle information and you should see under garage door opener not installed. So you're good to go ahead and install a HomeLink retrofit. Once determining that you're going to install the module, uh, remove the front trim and basin. Uh, the top piece is held on by 12 pop tabs. Uh, they just push in and pull out like this. And then once you've done that, uh, you'll gain access to some 10 millimeter bolts. Um, I also took this piece of plastic pop tab off from the driver's side, but I don't think you need to. Um, so one, two, three, four 10 millimeter bolts. Once you've removed the 10 millimeter bolts, the plastic frunk basin is held on by these tabs on either side. Um, they're kind of like slots, and then uh, the basin kind of sits in them, so you have to pull directly straight up. And then lastly, disconnect the electrical connection for the light with a small screwdriver. The next step is to locate your home link connector. So the home link connector is a black plug with a black cap on the driver's side of the vehicle. So I initially thought it was this blue one. That's not it. I'm not actually sure what that is for. Uh, but if you look on the driver's side, there it is right there. It is taped together with electrical tape. So I just cut the electrical tape and then uh, wrapped it back around. No big deal. I then fed the black plug through that little uh, opening because ultimately the uh, bracket for the home link module sits on the front of the vehicle. I then struggled mightily to get this <laughs> the dust cap off. There's a little notch that you have to slide a small screwdriver in. I did do a test uh, thing here just to make sure that it worked. It does in fact click in nicely and seat, so we're good to go. The next step is to install the home link module and the bracket. The bracket is held on by one 10 millimeter bolt. Um, there's this tab on the back of mine that really doesn't do anything it kind of confused me again it's just the one 10 millimeter bolt and then you connect your home link module and it slides right in and and clicks in place so there's the installed uh, mount and then you click on your home link module that red piece slides down to uh, kind of secure the connection even more and then the whole thing slides in and you're good to go the next step is to marvel how simple that was. While you're marveling, please uh, throw me a like or subscribe and be sure to give shout outs to your helpers. The next step is to make sure that Tesla recognizes the home link that you just installed. So getting back in the vehicle, go to software, press and hold the Model Y or 3, whatever vehicle you have, for about five seconds. And then when you release it, um, it will prompt you for an access code. You're going to type in service, S-E-R-V-I-C-E, -E, and then hit enter, and you will go, <laughs> you'll get a warning first, and when you click enable, it will take you to service mode. Then you're going to select low voltage, then you're going to select home link retrofit. Then, to unlock your gateway, you're going to press down on the brake while holding the right turn signal for about 8 seconds. And then when you release, it will give you this screen, and you click Home Link Retrofit, then you click Run. Once it runs, your Tesla screen will reboot. There it is going down and up. And then you can exit service mode to check on the status. So I put this here because mine does not take the first time. Um, I have to, I had to go ahead and do it multiple times. See, there it is. It's not showing up. It still just says My Link. Um, the key here is to walk away from the vehicle and let it lock. Uh, so let it lock, let it reset, and then when you come back, it was good to go. So again, let the car lock, and then you can come back, check it, software, additional information. When I came back, it recognized my home link, uh, option two. The final step is then to reinstall the front basin. Uh, so you're going to do the, uh, put the basin in, ensure the two push tabs, I'll call them, on the sides are pushed in nicely. Um, so you got to seat them and then push them in. Uh, install your light electrical connection um, before you put in the 10 millimeter bolts. 
Um, again, I'm just seating those side those side push tabs. Four 10 millimeter bolts, um, hand tight. So this is the lowest setting on the on the impact drill. Um, and then the 12 pop tabs uh, get seated, and uh, you're good to go. The next step is just to program the module itself, which we'll I'll do in a later video.